The 2024 Vuelta a España is set to ignite with an explosive opening act, a 12km individual time trial along the stunning Tagus River Historia. This will also be where the world's top cyclists will descend on Lisbon for a high-speed battle against the clock. This year's Vuelta a España also marks the fifth time that the Vuelta has ventured outside of Spain, with the Portuguese capital previously hosting the Grand Depot in 1997. The choice of Lisbon for the 2024 opening stage is a master stroke offering a scenic backdrop for what promises to be a thrilling spectacle the course itself is predominantly flat inviting time trial specialists to unleash their raw power however subtle undulations and the potential for crosswinds along the waterfront could introduce tactical elements demanding the riders to be vigilant and adaptable with the start podium position near the iconic Belém tower where the river meets the ocean the stage is set for drama from the onset as the riders navigate through the urban sections of Lisbon before hitting the waterfront. The atmosphere is expected to be electric. The finish line located near the São Jalua da Brava fortress and the Paré de Fort Torre Beach offers a breathtaking final finale against the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean. While the 2023 World to España featured only one individual time trial, the relatively short distance of this opening stage could lead to unexpected outcomes with a plethora of world-class time trialists in the peloton. The battle for the red jersey is likely to be fierce and contested from the very first day. For fans, the Lisbon stage offers an opportunity to witness cycling history in the making. With the city's rich cultural heritage and vibrant atmosphere, the event is expected to draw large crowds. The combination of world-class athletes, a stunning course, and a unique ambience of Lisbon promises to create an unforgettable experience. As the countdown to the Welter begins, anticipation is building for what could be one of the pivotal stages in the beginning of the week, with the time trial specialists eager to assert their dominance and the general classification riders looking to limit time losses and the opening kilometers of this 2024 Vuelta España sure is going to be a captivating spectacle. But overall, the stage itself is one of a pretty simple profile. There's not much technical cornering having to be done by the riders, so it will definitely favor the fastest time trialist. And with that out of the way, we might as well come to the predictions. And in terms of the predictions, we have plenty of big names in attendance. This will be a battle between the GC specialists between each other and also the TT specialists. The TT specialists here, the big ones to note is a recent bronze winner at the Olympics, Wout Van Aert, who hasn't had the best of years. Wout Van Aert has had a so-so season by his standards and has, of course, been battling with injury just coming off the Tour de France. But that third place in the Paris Olympics was certainly a welcome one. In terms of victories in the time trial, we haven't had a victory from Wout Van Aert in a very long time. The last time he won a time trial was the national championships back in 2023 or the 2022 stage 20 Tour de France time trial. So it's been quite a while since we've seen the Belgian take a win in a time trial setting. So I wouldn't say that he is the favorite, but that recent form in that very wet Paris Olympics certainly could be something. We also have Joshua Tarling, the man who lost out because of a bike mechanical to potentially take the third or the second place on that podium behind Repco Venable. And he has been looking very good this year. But again, there hasn't been much time trial action from him either. Fourth place in the Olympics as we said winning the national time trial in the UK once more finishing second in the criterium de Dauphiné behind Remco Venepoel on stage four in a time trial there and also winning the neutralized time trial in the Au Grand Camino stage that has been his only time trial victory this year but of course we know the European champion is absolutely phenomenal when he hits a right and I think this course will especially suit the young Josh Tarling and Ineos Grenadiers will hope to get that red jersey put on the young Welshman very quickly. But he is, of course, not their GC interest. Their GC interest is Carlos Rodriguez, and he might be losing quite a lot of time, or even Egan Bernal as well. The GC focus is certainly the interesting one, and we also know that UAT Memorates are coming with a very stacked team, and the team as a whole have been performing very well in time trials over the last couple of seasons. But their chief man in terms of this time trial could be the likes of the American national champion of 
Brandon Rignolti, even Joao Almeida, who's going to be on home roads, but he does pack a good punch. The former national time trial champion, Adam Yates. Adam Yates potentially awaken a Simon Yates sort of time trial performance. Jay Vine, we know, has a good time trial in him as well. And Isaac Del Toro, the Neo Pro, he will definitely look to impress in his first ever Grand Tour. Elsewhere, we have Primoz Roglic returning the three-time Vuelta España champion wants to get another stage and another raid jersey very early on if he can do it. GC riders, there are going to be a number of them who are going to be a bit wary about this start. Looking at Outerbrook, Sepp Kuss, Ben O'Connor as well. All these guys don't have the best time trial, especially early on in the race as well. David Gaudu and Lenny Martinez. But Groupama Diche might be a bit worried about this as well. And Eddie Dunbar, so there will be a lot of action. You cannot win the Welta Espana on this first stage, but there might be some riders that are left on the back foot after this. Equally, we also have Movistar with a very limited team in terms of TT performance with Aina Rubio, who was top 10 in the Giro d'Italia, Nairo Quintana and Enric Mas, but none of them will be challenging here. So there will be a limitation game for many of these riders in the GC, and it certainly looks like it will be between Wout Van Aert and Josh Tarling for that win on the very first stage here in Lisbon and if Joao Almeida could get a good result after his very impressive fourth place in the Tour de France, that could be very good as well. But right now, that stage looks like it's going to be potentially Josh Tarling's. But anyways, that's basically it for this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel here on the Cycling Day and Extra. And of course, check out the preview and the top five as well here on the channel if you want to see more about the Vuelta Espana. But with that, thank you for watching and I will see you around.